Hi, welcome to 7 Facts, the channel where you'll surely find a video about every single country on Earth. In today's video we're going to explore North Dakota, but keep in mind that there is an entire playlist of all the US states and territories, so be sure to check that out too. Also, and obviously, remember to subscribe if you wish to see the two new videos I upload every Wednesday and Saturday. North Dakota was the 39th state to join the United States. Or was it the 40th? Well, no one really knows for sure. Once, both Dakotas were joined in one Dakota territory, but it wasn't meant to last. Due to various political disputes and several cases of corruption, the two split and entered into the Union as separate states, North and South Dakota. But President Benjamin Harrison purposely made it impossible to tell which state came into the Union first, shuffling the papers and signing them without looking so that not even he would know. Today the only way to assign a rank is alphabetically, so North Dakota is generally listed as the 39th state. North Dakota could have been half Canadian. Roughly half of today's state remained a British territory even after the United States won their independence. The British ceded almost half of the territory that became the state of North Dakota in the Treaty of 1818. The treaty resolved previous border disputes between Britain and the United States by officially making the 49th parallel the line between the states and British North America and giving America a big chunk of the territory that would become North Dakota. With a population of less than 800,000 people, North Dakota doesn't strike anyone as a very urbanized state. So how in the hell did they manage to establish around 400 cities? It's simple actually. All incorporated communities are considered cities, regardless of their size or population. So there are no towns, no villages and no hamlets anywhere in the state. This creates some interesting situations where Fargo, the largest city, or Bismarck, the capital, are basically categorized the same way as Russo. Why is that interesting? Well, Fargo has a population of 118,000 people, while in Russo there are only 4 people. But it doesn't matter, they're both cities. In 1881, a Scottish living in North Dakota named David Henderson Houston filed a patent on the first roll film camera. The true genius of Houston was that his invention came before roll film had even been invented. While Houston wasn't versed in the technology required to make film, he could see that the plastic film was coming and he sorted out how it would be used when it arrived. And eight years later, he sold the patent to George Eastman and also provided a suggestion for the name of his company. He wanted to go with NODAC, an abbreviation of North Dakota, but Eastman decided to change the initial N to a K. And so, the Kodak company was born. Bismarck is the capital of the US state of North Dakota. It is ranked as one of the fastest growing small cities in the United States. But that wasn't always the case. In 1872, European Americans founded a settlement at what was then called Missouri Crossing, so named because the Lewis and Clark expedition crossed the river there on their exploration of the Louisiana Purchase in 1804 to 1806. Later, the new town was called Edwinton, but after just one year, in 1873, the Northern Pacific Railway renamed the city as Bismarck, in honor of German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck. Why? Railroad officials hoped to attract German immigrant settlers to the area and German investment in the railroad. But the discovery of gold in South Dakota was a great impetus for growth. So the plan didn't really work. Still, the name remained to this day. 
North Dakota is the host of North America's largest Scandinavian festival. Tens of thousands of people attend Norsk Hostfest every year to celebrate the state's Nordic heritage. Immigrants from Nordic countries like Sweden, Iceland and Denmark flocked to North Dakota in the late 19th century, and in 1914 Norwegian immigrants and their descendants owned one-fifth of the land in North Dakota. Today, roughly 47% of North Dakotans are of German descent, but followed by Norwegian, Irish, Swedish and Russian, totaling another 47%. Interestingly, less than 4% of North Dakotans are actually descended from Englishmen. North Dakota has the most churches per capita of any state, and the highest percentage of church-going folks in the US. 87% of North Dakotans say they believe in God, and 66% go to church at least once or twice a week. Christians rule here, with over 86% of people belonging to a Christian church. Not to worry though, religious fanaticism doesn't seem to have a foothold here, because North Dakota is also one of the top resettlement locations for refugees in the United States. Fargo Mayor Tim Mahoney even said North Dakota accepting the most refugees per capita should be celebrated given the benefits they bring to the state. And that's always good to hear. And there you have it. These were 7 facts about North Dakota. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share your thought downstairs in the comment section and afterwards check me out on Facebook and Twitter. A good way to offer more support to this channel is through Patreon, link in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.